The NIC400 creation flow offers an automated way for creating and generating a custom NIC400 design. First, you need to fill the NIC400 specification by specifying the boundary interfaces and all the necessary NIC400 design choices such as clock domains, memory maps, existing path between slave and master interfaces and other features. To fill the specification, you basically have three main options. The so-called harvest flow allows you to automatically capture interface information from the IP exec description of your system components for which the inner connect is being designed. If you configure your ARM IPs using the Socrates IP catalog, then for each IP you will have the IP exec description as well in your project, so the harvest flow can auto-capture all the interconnect related interfaces from those files and can mirror the ones you select onto your NIC400 component boundary, including all the interface attributes that were stored in the IP exec description. In case of a large system, this can save considerable amount of effort as you don't need to manually create all those interfaces on the NIC. If you have some IPs for which you don't have the IP exec description available, then the created NIC interfaces will need to be created manually under the specification. If you want to reuse an existing NIC400 configuration that you created previously with Amba Designer or with any version of Socrates, the tool can import those as well and this way you would get an already complete specification and the corresponding microarchitecture to start with. The tool includes a set of built-in design rule checks that ensure that your created NIC400 design will be valid. You can run them anytime as you fill your specification, but every automation step in the creation flow, for example microarchitecture generation or RTL rendering, will run them as well as an initial step. Once your specification is complete, you can auto-generate a microarchitecture, or we can also call it topology, so basically all the necessary internal blocks and connectivity. Once it's available, you can view the results in the microarchitecture editor plugin. Then if you want, you can go back and modify your specification, regenerate the microarchitecture, and basically keep going through this refinement loop until you are satisfied with the generated results. The microarchitecture editor also allows manual topology refinements, such as adding time enclosure and buffering settings, but in an X extreme case, you can also recreate a completely different custom topology that fits your specification. Once your NIC400 microarchitecture is complete and fulfills all your requirements, you can auto generate the deliverables, including RTL design, IP exec description, architecture specification, implementation constraints, and an out-of-box testbench.